Hello from Slovenia again. Today is another <laughs> poor witch kitchen kind of gadget, so how can I say? So I will do pour with over or in this colander and it doesn't have holes, it has stripes, I don't know how to say that. And let me put this aside. And I will use primary colors again. Let me bring you a little closer. And I will just layer them primary yellow and some white and primary magenta and some black. So you will see primary yellow and some white and I will add well white and black less than primary colors just to have a little contrast here and there especially with black I want to be careful with black yellow again and a little bit of white not so careful with white the time with black <laughs> to avoid some mud just to add up some interest and blue again and yellow and a little bit of black and primary cyan okay okay so my cup is layered and now I will pour this in the colander okay and whoop in the meantime, I will thin down my white a little bit and pour it around for a flow extender and then we will see. And in the meantime, the paint have time to flow. I will grab a palette knife just to spray this a little bit because this needs time to flow off I think and in the meantime I can marry my flow extender with the pattern that I got so the paint will have a wet base right away when we'll start to f to fly or how can I say to slide on the canvas so it's important to have that to help not to destroy how can I say okay 
let's leave this now and see what is underneath. I think that it needs a little help here in the middle so I will basically drag those lines towards the middle and then I will go from there. Because some of those lines here in the middle are just beautiful and I want to get rid of that. So I will, of course, use a balloon or a glove. Just have to find some. I will. my balloons Okay, so I will just dip a balloon in the middle carefully. Okay, I think that I did okay. Just one more touch because with these patterns, the middle is always important because it will stay in the center of your final pour or how can I say so it's important that you have your middle nice quick and now to the spinning part it's a messy part, but I love it because the painting starts to develop in front of your eyes. Okay, so I will just stretch this a little more that side that it will be kind of more centered or how can I say and a little to this side sorry that you probably don't have the good angle for this but I just want to you know give it a little and I have to see what I'm doing middle is really really beautiful so I really want to stretch it out as much as I can just one more
Wow. Lovely. Love it. I'm done. So here is a close up. Uh, <clears throat> I just want to show you why the keeping the middle nice is important when you spin out. You see, because if I wouldn't pay attention to this middle, it wouldn't look like that. It will have, you know, and I I really like the whole painting. I don't know, it's three-dimensional in a way, you see. Um, like it a lot uh, different but I like it so this is it for today and see you on the next one bye